Huh. Well, you learn something every day. Clear skies out there tonight. It is cool and going cooler as we head toward tomorrow morning. We are seeing 50s, but not everywhere in our area. You'll see that in a second. 57 is the current number in Macon. By tomorrow morning, we could be down around 50. Again, some places maybe a little bit warmer. Fog is a possibility in a few spots out there as well. All right, so as we look at the map, seeing 50s, but also some 60s. And even just a little while ago, I saw Thomaston at 70. What are they? Yeah, they still do. So a wide range of numbers out there tonight. And as you go farther toward the east and southeast, that's where we're seeing things a lot different than last night. Some places down 9, 10, 11 degrees from this time last night. Right now, humidity levels are in check. Feels good out there, but that might come up some. Uh, as we head in towards Saturday and beyond. Here's the radar shot. Nothing going on right now. Uh, it's quiet. It's going to be that way tomorrow. A fantastic Friday setting up, and we've had a string of these here recently. So enjoy that as we head into the weekend. We'll change things up a little bit. All right, so here's a look at tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night looking great. Let's go forward into Saturday. Now we'll pause here. A couple of things to note. You would normally look and say, well, this is the rain that's coming in. Look at this line of showers and storms in Mississippi. All this will be coming across. Well, it'll be coming across, but it's going to be falling apart. Any rain we see is going to be from this southeasterly flow. Notice this as we go into lunchtime tomorrow, there could already, or Saturday, I should say, there could already be a sprinkle or two as we go forward into Saturday afternoon. Pointed out earlier, uh, you know, a lot of activities this time of year, folks doing things outside. Of course, Georgia Tennessee game going on in Athens. Uh, as far as the forecast now looks, if you're going, an umbrella, raincoat, something like that would be a pretty good idea. There could be waves off and on if it sets up where it is. So we're thinking mainly making eastward, east of 75 for the daytime. And then as we get into the nighttime, some of this may shift a little bit toward the west. Now that we can look at this tomorrow, and this looks totally different with, you know, maybe it shifts a little bit one way or the other. But wherever it does line up, it looks like it's going to be kind of like a conveyor belt, uh, potentially of rain. We've seen this set up every once in a while, and then it may continue some as we go on into Sunday there. Long range models show just splotches, but you saw there on the graph model, some color still there even as we get into Sunday lunchtime. Monday and Tuesday are looking quiet. We get into Wednesday of next week. Total separation in the models here. So there is zero confidence on what's happening in the middle of next week. Just know that rain potential will be there. So again, 50, 50 plus in the morning. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll go back up into the upper 70s, maybe low 80s south. This will take us into Saturday morning, much warmer here. And then Saturday afternoon, look at some of these 80s building in with humidity levels up too and the potential for rain. So not exactly what you'd expect for November, but uh, there could be cooler stuff on the backside of the rain chance toward the middle of next week. All right.